The Wall Street Journal reports about the sales tax ruling we talked about a few weeks ago in relation to small businesses. Uh, it's very easy for Amazon and other large e-commerce providers to react to this change, which is basically a Supreme Court ruling that said states can collect sales tax even if you don't have a physical presence in that state. Uh, the existence of a customer in that state is all that is really necessary at this point. But the problem here in the U.S. is that our uh, tax code, especially related to sales taxes, is a mess, and no two states do it the same way. And there's some concern that uh, you know, small mom and pop shops that are selling on eBay and other places are going to have a really hard time complying with this because every state uh, accepts their sales tax receipts in different ways, which means you have to file individually in every single state your customers might be coming from, which is a very heavy paperwork burden. Uh, we also saw eBay launch a petition in regards to this because their sellers, even the small tiny ones, uh, are really going to have to pay or collect sales taxes to uh, every state they send stuff to, and they're trying to urge Congress to come up with some kind of standard here to make it easier on everybody to comply with whatever laws these states now decide to pass in relation to sales taxes. Uh, there's also services springing up to help make this easier for small companies. Uh, this one is called TaxCloud. I think they're based here in Connecticut, and they have a number of states that have uh, started paying this service to uh, automate the process of these sales tax collections because they look at this as a benefit to them. And as a result, if the state that you're sending to is on this free list, uh, you'll be able to get those taxes collected and filed and I think paid to those uh, states for free with no added uh, expense to it, which actually is a pretty good deal, I think. Uh, but states that are not part of this deal with uh, TaxCloud, you'll have another half a percent uh, taken out of the sale so they can manage the uh, the flow of paperwork and information. So we'll, hopefully we'll start seeing some ways to comply with this law for small businesses that makes more sense, but ultimately I think it would be much easier for there to just be a standard and a way to you know, maybe file th something once and get it done. I have been uh, running a payroll service here now that I have people working for me, and one of the nice things about how these payroll systems work is that I don't have to do anything beyond put in the number of hours that uh, Corey is working, and at the end of the week, they automatically take the money out of my account, they pay him, they pay all the taxes, they do the state filing, they do the federal filing, really easy for me, and I'm very happy to pay the 25 bucks a month, month it costs me to uh, run this service. So hopefully we'll start seeing more uh, automated systems to do that, but a standard might make life a lot easier for small businesses. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including gold level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast. Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.